Okay, before we get into the anatomy of the legs, I wanted to give you all a very simple way to think about the side of the hip and the gluteus maximus. This region can be a little confusing if you don't know what to look for. And there are two abstract, almost cartoonish ways to think about this that have always helped me. So number one, just to review from the last video, this is the tensor muscle, this teardrop shape on the corner of the pelvic block. This is the gluteus maximus back here. This is the gluteus medius, this fullness. This knob is the greater trochanter. It's the, the bump, the outermost bump on your femur bone as it comes off the hip bone. And on a man, this is the furthest point out. This elongated strap, this is the fascia lata, also called the IT band. I've seen it called the IT tract as well. And IT stands for iliotibial or iliotibio, I can't remember. And it's iliotibio because it goes from your ilium, your hip bone, to your tibia, which is your lower leg bone. So the hips are connected to the lower leg in several ways, and this is one of the biggest ones on the side of the leg. So abstractly, you know, what is this shape? It's a Y shape, see? You have tensor, gluteus maximus, and then you have your IT band. So if you get confused, look for the Y shape first. Um, and the, the second sort of cartoonish abstract vi visualization, let's call it, is from Stephen Rogers Peck, his book, Atlas of Human Anatomy for the Artist. And if you go to page 136, he has um, a set of amazing drawings in the leg, the hip and the foot. And one of the drawings he has is sort of a cartoonish little hand holding what looks like a little squared off knob, almost like a little, little block, a cube between the thumb and the palm. And what he's showing here is that gluteus maximus and the tensor resemble a hand or a mitten. And you have to think about it this way. Your, your four fingers will represent the gluteus maximus wrapping around to the sacrum, you know, in the back of the ilium. So that's the origin of the muscle. And the tensor will, will be the thumb. And remember from the last Patreon video, part of the gluteus maximus and the tensor will converge on this fascia, this IT band. So they are coming together and then traveling down the leg to the tibia. So I guess you could think about it as like, your four fingers are the gluteus maximus, your thumb is the tensor, and then your arm is the strap. So it's those, those simple, like I said, kind of cartoonish things that stick with you for the rest of your life. It's kind of like when you're in grade school and you're trying to pass a test and you come up with a, a way to memorize a list um, just to get you through the test. Now, some of these, these little sayings I can still remember, and they have helped me actually comprehend something over time, but, but initially, just to, to get yourself off the launch pad, I think these, these little cartoons can, can be helpful 
And then, you know, maybe five years later, you kind of understand how the whole system works. Or maybe, you know, more, more accurately what the nature of this Y shape and the mitten shape is. Um, because you don't want to be arbitrary about it. But, um, you know, the Peck book, it's uh, such a great resource. And while he wasn't, let's say, the greatest fine artist, he was an awesome teacher, and it's those little cartoon drawings in the book that that uh, I really find helpful, and thank goodness he wrote it down in a book. 